What's going on, fellow rock and rollers? It's Mr. Jim here. Peace and love and thumbs up and AKA Calbon getting rock and roll. Hope you're staying kind to yourself and to others. And guess what? <coughs> See it in the title. We're going to be doing all the major chords today on guitar. The seven major ones, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, our musical alphabet, right? And after that, we're going to be doing how they look and sound. So let's remember A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just like the alphabet, only going up to G again. And here we go. Let's do A major. You're going to play. You can play this with one finger if you'd like. On the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom on the second fret, you can kind of bar that and strum from the A string, the second string from the top down. You can do it with just one finger. You have to have a lot of control over that. Or what you can do is use these three fingers on the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom, the B, G, and D strings on the second fret. You hold them down. Play all the strings except the top string, because the top string might sound a little funky if you put that in there. This is what it looks and sounds like the A major. All right, let's get that B major. Now, I play B major in a little bit of a different way than they have here, and that's fine. So we got this. This is what B major sort of sounds like. It's bottom string of the second fret, uh, the E string, and then you're going to do the same sort of fingers you had playing A major and just slide it over to the fourth fret. So you keep those same shape, slide it over here, and then put F this finger down here. That's B major, but I like to play B major. It sounds a little bit more full this way by having your fingers like so. Second string from the top, the A string on the second fret, and then bringing, you can bring these three fingers down again. Sounds a lot more full than this. Either one is technically correct though. This is B major. I'm gonna have a uh, second string from the top, the A string on the second fret you hold down. You bring <clears throat> your ring finger and your pinky finger down to the third and fourth strings from the top on the fourth fret. Or you can bring your finger over here as well, your pinky underneath and do kind of the same shape as A major and just slide it down to the fourth fret. All right, let's play that C major. C major is like so. Second string from the bottom, the B string, skip a string, go to the third string from the top on the second fret, and then the second string from the top on the third fret, and that looks like the C major. And this is what it sounds like. C major, try not to play the top string because it might sound a little funky as well. All right, let's move on to D major. Sometimes D major, people say that this looks kind of like a pretzel. I'm not sure. It doesn't really look like a pretzel to me. But that's what helps you visualize it. Then great. So we're going to go to the bottom string, the second fret, skip a string, go to the third string from the bottom on the second fret as well. You hold those two down. And the string that you skipped, you come over here on the second string from the bottom, the B string on the third fret. Now you can play all the strings except the top one again. And if you don't want to do that, you can just play the D string, which is the third string from the top down. Even though you're not holding that string down, you can get that low D note associated with the D chord. So it sounds good. All right. Super cool. That's what it looks and sounds like the D major. Now let's play E major. E major looks like this. We're on the second and third strings from the top on the second fret. And then we're going to move this finger down to the third string from the bottom on the first fret. You hold it like that. And you can play all the strings on this one because it's an E major. So you can play that top E note with that low E note to make it sound really full. Awesome. Let's go to an F now. An F, you can bar the bottom two strings of the first fret, the B and the E strings. Then come up to the third string from the bottom, the G string on the second fret, and then the third string from the top on the third fret. And that plays F. That's what it looks and sounds like. You could almost think of this as like playing a C chord, but just dropping these two fingers down, one string each on the same fret. And then barring that bottom string. That's F. You can also get by by playing an F without that bottom string down and that also is an F. All right and our last one the G. There's multiple ways to play the G. 
A quick way is to just do the top and bottom string of the third fret like that. You can also play it like this. Top string of the third fret, second string from the top on the second fret, and then bottom string of the third fret. That's what it looks and sounds like. And I like to add this finger in as well. So I'm using all four fingers with my thumb as a, a guiding force on the back. Top string of the third fret, second string from the top on the second fret, and then the bottom two strings of the third fret. This makes it sound really full. That's what it looks and sounds like. That's a G major. All right, so there's a couple ways to do that. You can do it like this. You can do it like this. Or like this. Super cool. So let's go over A, B, C, D, E, F, N, G together. Here's A again. Remember, this is B. There's multiple ways to play B. You can play it like that, or like this, or like this as well. Here's C major. Here's D major. Here's E major. F major, we could do it like that or like this. And G major, right? We have it like this, like this, or like that. So there you go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Our traditional ways to play the major chords. Super fun. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to pause this video at any point and try to get your fingers in that shape. That's the beauty of these videos. You could pause it, get it really good, and then strum it all the way out with the appropriate strings, right? Super fun. Double thumbs up, A-OK, -okay, cowabunga, rock and roll, and A-OK. -okay. And we'll see you next time for who knows what. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.